Dear kids, dear teenagers, dear toddlers, dear preteens, and grown adults. Here's a newsflash for you guys. Parents, they have feelings too. As as a mom, you go through through life trying to provide for your kids their needs, their wants. What when they're sick, you take care of them. When they're not happy, you try to do everything to make them happy. And sometimes it seems like it's just a one-way street. For example, kids, they want this, they want that, their needs. And I think they forget that parents have feelings. Parents have issues. Parents also have things that they've dealt with as kids, as teenagers, as preteens, as adults, as young adults. Parents go through that too. So newsflash, guys. You aren't the only ones that are hurting and suffering. We've been there. We've been through all those years. We, we, we know what it's like to struggle. We know what it's like to deal with peer pressure. And I think sometimes kids just forget that. They, they forget that and they lose sight of the fact that, hey, mom, mom seems sad today. What, what's wrong? You know, if I see my kid is sad, the first thing I want to do is cheer him up, right? But do they do that for us? And I think it's because they have this image that we are, like, I'm super mom. Oh, she's mom. She does this. She does that. They forget that mom does everything for them. Mom cooks for them. Mom cleans for them. Mom washes their clothes. Mom makes sure they get to school on time. Mom makes sure that they are content and happy. Right? And... You wonder, like, do they not see, do they not, do they not sometimes want to, you know, give that back? Mom, do you need something? Mom, let me cook you breakfast. And it's just, it it was, it was, I, as I'm a mom, I have four boys and I'm no longer a single mom. Thank God that now I have someone with me that's going to help me. Um, mold these young men because it's hard when you're a mom trying to raise all boys Um, you can't be as stern as firm as you want because you want to be mom you want to be nurturing you want to be you know mom and so it's important to have that male figure around and that male influence because they need that they need that influence and you know it just it, it just became clear that I don't think kids get it. I don't think they they can wrap their fingers around the fact that yeah, mom struggles. Mom has issues that she has to deal with. Mom is a person just like you. And there are days where she's sad and there are days that she's overwhelmed. And let me tell you something, guys. If she's a mom, more than likely, she's going through something every day or she's stressed out every day. It's inevitable. It's inevitable, okay? There's decisions to make. What is she going to make for dinner? When is she going to wash clothes? When is she going to have time to do this? When is she going to have to have time to do that? Her day is constantly going. And as kids, you have to worry about a certain amount of things like waking up in the morning. Please wake up, get dressed, you know, brush your teeth, go to school, get good grades, right? Come home, do your little chores, don't kill your other brothers, and life will be a piece of cake, kind of. There's going to always be issues, but, you know, I don't think kids can just, kids realize what the work it takes to be a parent, to be a parent. When you're a father, right, He's wor- he worries about 
is he going to teach them the right things? Is he going to be firm enough? Is he going to be too firm? Is he going to, you know, he, he wants to be the man that his kids look up to. So it's parent, being a parent is hard. And I think kids, they don't realize that. And they just think that we are these um, supernatural creatures like aliens or something that have no feelings um, and just go about the day carefree and everything is a piece of cake guess what guys it's not like that so have some consideration sometimes and ask your parents how they are how was their day how was work do they need anything is there something i can help you with you know mom don't do that laundry i got it you know dad i'll mow the lawn i'll take out the garbage you know just little things like that so i just felt the need to come on here and kind of um you know tell your kids like no parents moms and dads have feelings moms and dads have issues moms and dads are overwhelmed and they have bad days and as our kids we're supposed to be a team and work together and you're not supposed to stress us out any more than the world stresses us out and vice versa vice versa we want only the best for you guys so, um, you know, parents, we love, I mean, us as parents, we love our kids more than anything. But we can also admit, I can admit when my kids are being jerks. That I, I have no problem admitting that, right? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest because, you know, I've been feeling a certain type of way. And when random people notice that I'm not my best self but my own kids don't notice that, yeah, it kind of hits me hard because I'm like, how did you guys not know that? How are you guys still causing me grief? You know, just give me a break. But, yeah, so I just wanted to come on here really quick and say that. That was something that I was thinking about since last night. Kids, don't be so inconsiderate. Think about your parents the way they think about you because it's all about your wants and needs. Yes, for parents, it's all about you guys. But sometimes return it and act act the way we act with you okay that's all i have to say about that